to the channel, here I am on the Las Vegas Strip. Today's video is all about showgirls, or the showgirls of the Las Vegas Strip. Now we've found that in the last few years there's been a proliferation of girls who stand around asking if people want photos and they're, uh, they're dressed up as showgirls basically. And basically what happens is, is um, as you're walking by, the girls will say, would you like a photo? And then you think, yeah, I'll have a photo with you. You get the photo, and then they ask for a huge amount of money. <laughs> Generally, they'll say, uh, well, we normally get uh, we normally get fifty dollars. I'm not giving you fifty dollars. Why? Because you fifty dollars. No. Each, but we'll do it for twenty. And you think to yourself, oh my god, pay me my money <laughs> in cash. So how does it work uh, for them? Basically, they rent the costumes. Some of them work on a commission basis. Most of them just rent the costumes outright. And uh, what they do is, I think they pay between two and three hundred dollars. There's only two or three firms that do the costume rentals. Don't think about opening up your own shop here unless you've got serious insurance. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. So the overheads are, $250 to $300 a day. Then they also pay a cleaning fee when they return the costume at the end of the day. And they also pay a deposit as well so that they don't uh, run off with the costume. So that's what it's costing them per day. They don't pay anything to the state. And unbelievably, they don't need a permit at all. In front of the casinos, they can be trespassed. The front of the casinos belong now to the casinos and it's up to them to police them, which means that uh, they can be moved along. However, the girls just tend to keep walking. They will congregate in some spaces where you don't need, uh, you're not uh, in, in bother with anybody, you're in front of a supermarket, say for example. So they can do that and they can stand there for as long as they want. They can't stand in front of the casinos at all. They've got to keep moving. So if you're gonna have a picture with them, well, fair enough, I mean, they're out here, you know, trying hard earning money it's just the cost I think that if, if they charged like five dollars ten dollars they would get much more volume of pictures and you take the picture on your own camera it's not like you're taking a picture uh, with their equipment or you're not getting a print out or anything like that so I had a chat with one of the girls and I said you know how does it work with uh, with money and she said well we had to pay a commission or we just rent the outfits outright and then she proceeded to tell me that um, that the girls are uh, are from the Flamingo, the show at the Flamingo. And I thought, yeah, I, I don't think so. If you're in a show at the Flamingo, you ain't out hawking for photos uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. But they were really, really nice. So uh, if you want to get a picture with them, uh, just, just go for it. Make sure that you work out how much you've got to pay first. If you don't want a picture, just keep yourself to yourself. No need for any comments about what they're wearing or whether they should be wearing it. So, is it a Las Vegas scam? Well, no, not really. As long as you negotiate a price for a photo before you take the photo, then you know what you're paying. If you're happy with that, pay the girls and that's that. Whatever you do though, don't take a picture and then say I'm not paying you because these angels will turn into demons. They will seriously cause a scene and call you all the names under the sun and uh, yeah, you won't get away with it. <laughs> anyway, I hope this explains a little bit about these uh, photos with the showgirls. As ever, please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.